need to introduce a new term and it's called decibels. Now remember, well, I said that the sound power was very, very tiny. Sound intensity is very, very tiny. Remember that whole conversation about a trillion people all over the globe that share this little tiny energy between them? Now, scientists, when they were given this problem, they were like, these numbers are too small. They don't mean much. So let's come up with a unit that we can actually understand and appreciate. So they came up with this term called decibels. And I'll tell you what decibels are. Decibel is the unit we have given to sound intensity level. Okay, notice on the right-hand side of this equation, it is I over I. It should be unitless. It shouldn't have any units. But instead of having no units, which is very disturbing for physicists, we decided to call this as decibels. And all decibel means is an intensity above the threshold intensity that humans can hear. Do you remember when, when we were dividing that and I said that the intensity that humans can hear is minus 12, a trillion trillion? That's a very, very tiny number. And those numbers are all very, very tiny. So instead of talking about intensities, we actually talk about intensity levels, which are given by this formula here. And the reason why there's a log in there is because log helps us take that exponential curve that we had before, you know, that exponential decay curve into like a curve like this, which humans are better at interpreting. So bear with me here. I will tell you three different formulas for intensity and power. Don't get confused. We're gonna walk through it one at a time. So what is intensity? Intensity is the amount of sound, light, or whatever it is in the room. Sound intensity level is how much that intensity is with respect to a reference. That's all that it, that it is. And it is given by the formula, sound intensity level given in decibel, which decibel is a number, we, decibel is a unit we came up with, 10 log, of I2 over I1, where I2 is my intensity and I1 is my reference intensity, which by definition is given as 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. Watts per meter squared. That's number one. So this is sound intensity level. There is another term called SWL and SPL. And I'll explain those in a second. We'll be ready for it, there's two more. SWL is called sound power level. And SPL is called sound pressure level. Sound power level is 10 log of W over W naught where this is a wattage. Whereas sound pressure level is 20 log of P over P naught. Just write these down somewhere all together and then we will discuss. Okay, so this is what we wrote out. So we have wrote sound intensity 
level S I L D B 10 log of I over I naught. And then I wrote 10, I zero is 10 to the minus 12 watts per meter squared. Then I wrote sound power level. This was called S W L D B. And that was 10 log of W over W naught. And then I wrote sound pressure level. And I call this SPL dB. And I call this 20 log of P over P zero. Where P zero is two times 10 to the minus five Pascal. So what's the difference? So the sound intensity level is the level of intensity or the, how intense a sound is. And the reason why we, instead of talking about just intensity, we talk about intensity level is because the numbers that we're talking about are very, very tiny. And so we needed something else to make the numbers look like 10 or 12 or 15. We don't wanna deal with a 10 to the minus 12 and 10 to the minus 15 and things like that. Um, sound power level is actually the power of the source. How noisy the source is. It does not depend on distance or area or environment. Sound pressure level is the pressure, sound pressure at a distance from the source. You can measure both intensity and the sound pressure level with a meter. So you will be using tonight and tomorrow, whenever you guys have lab, sound intensity level meters. They will read numbers to you in decibels. Decibel is a unit we have come up with to get ratios of sound intensities and sound pressures. Got it? Decibel on its own has no, no value unless it's associated with either intensity level, power level, or pressure level. Be very careful. Sound power level is not something you can measure. It does not depend on distance. It does, it's just how noisy, whatever the thing that's making the, the sound is. <laughs> sound intensity level goes down the further you are. Sound pressure level also goes down the further you are. Got it? Yes. Oh, environment. Yeah, so like it won't depend on if the environment is noisy or if there's wind in the air or whatever else. It's just me making the noise. My noise getting to you depends on the environment and how far you are and all of that stuff. But me, myself, I'm making the noise, right? It's, it has no, uh, no concern with what all is going on around you. Okay, whereas you guys, are the receiving end, so you're, you're the intense, you're the observers of the intensity and the pressure. The other thing is the intensity as a function of the number of sources. I would like you to write this down as well. So if you have one source versus you have two. So for example, one violin playing versus 10 violins playing. 